welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make my own dust covers. So as you all know, I sell my candles online, at markets, and in stores. So especially at markets and in stores, it's really nice to have something covering the top of the candle so that way the dust doesn't fall on the candle. And as all of you know, I label my candles on the bottom. So it's a lot easier to have the scent and your logo and your website on the actual top of the candle. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Kayla. I make videos all about crafts, concrete, and candles. So if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe so that way you don't miss out on any of the new videos I post in the future. Let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I make the dust covers, and I will have all of the materials that I personally use in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so this is Canva. This is what I use to design my labels and also the dust covers that I'm going to show you. So you'll either want to like, log in or sign up. Uh, there is a free version, so you can definitely use this for free. I do have a pro version um, just because it does have a lot of fun features um, that I use all the time uh, with my YouTube and with my Etsy shop. So I do have the pro version, but the free version I did use for quite a bit of time um, and it does have some really good features as well. So what you'll do is you'll log in or sign up. This is what you're going to see. So it's gonna give you a lot of options here. If you scroll down, you can see a bunch of things that you can do. For this one, you're going to wanna hit create a design and do Instagram post. This is what we're going to use for the dust cover. All right, so once this is pulled up, this is what you're going to see here. You're going to see on the left, these are your options. So you can use templates. They have a lot of different cute ones. Now going to elements, you're gonna see, this is what I use the most personally. Um, you're gonna see your shapes. This, I like it because they save what you recently use. So that way if you use something a lot, it's going to be right here. You don't have to go looking for it. And they have a lot of other options. You can also search for anything as well. And then uploads, these are just your uploads that you personally have uploaded onto Canva. This is how you add text to anything. And then it also saves your logos. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to elements, we're gonna create the actual label. So you're going to want to use the circle. So first, let's change the background color so we can see the circle. So we're going to get the color changed by going to background color and then going to black. You can change it to really anything you want. I just use black. And then go back to elements and you're gonna select the circle. Now you're gonna to wanna to do two circles and I will show you why in just a minute. Make one really small and then one bigger, just like this. So the reason why I'm having you make a second circle is for the little tab on the side. So that way when people go to pull off the dust cover, it's not, they don't have to dig their fingernails into the candle and it's really easy for them to lift it up. So this doesn't, the size of this does not matter. The placement does not matter. Whatever you feel is right for you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and change the color of this to white. I just like to have it the color of the paper that I'm using. All right, so we are all set. We will be doing the sizing of this uh, a little bit later. So you can make it whatever size you want. I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger. Okay, so what we wanna do now is we want to make the wick hole. So you can either do a circle for cotton wick or a, a square. You can make it into a rectangle for the wood wicks. Really any type of wick you have, you can make a hole for. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a circle uh, for today. And there isn't really any perfect size. I usually like to make it a little bit bigger just so there's enough room. Um, so that way, you know, if the wick happens to be a little bit over to the left or a little bit over to the right, as long as it's still centered, we're fine. So this is centered, we are good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and do text. 
So I'm going to add the name of my company. And this isn't gonna be exactly, uh, I, I'll probably spend more time on my own when I do my dust covers. I definitely spend more time than what I'm doing right now, uh, but it takes time to play around with it. So you wanna put your own touch to it, your own brand feel to these dust covers. So if you click on the text and you go up to the top here, you'll see the font. If you click this, you can see all these different fonts you can use. The little crown does mean Canva Pro, so you would have to have the Pro version to use that, um, but they do have a lot of really cute fonts that aren't Pro as well. So me personally, I'm going to use this one. Um, it's just a normal font, it's called Moon Time. Make it a little bit bigger. I do make my sense a little bit bigger just so people can see it, but I do like to have the name of my company at the top. Now I always have feathers on my labels and my packaging. Everything with my brand has a feather on it. So I'm gonna put a feather at the top and you can add whatever you would like for your brand. And to get something like that, you go to elements and you can just type in feathers or type in whatever you want and a lot of different options will come up. So I personally liked this one, so I'm going to use this. You can turn it any way you want. You can make it smaller or bigger. And I'm gonna move it to the top here. Now I'm gonna change the color of this because I want it to be more my brand color. So if you click it and then go up to the color, you can see all these options. If you don't want any of these, you can always go to this plus sign and it'll give you this. And you can go through and get really any color you want. All right, so there's my logo. I will call that my logo for now. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and add the scent. So here's the scent. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger here and move it right underneath. And I love Canva because of the lines. It really helps when you can see that middle line and be able to line everything down the middle. All right, so we have the scent, we have my brand and my company. So now what I, what I usually do is I put what the ounces are and what type of candle it is. So if customers go to look at my candle, they will see just a little bit more about it at a quick glance. So I'm gonna change that font to kind of match this strawberry kiwi and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And it's up to you how much you put on your dust covers. You can put just a little bit if you'd like, you can put a lot. It's really what your design and what your vision is. So I'm also, I like putting my website on my dust covers. So that way, again, people can see my brand and if they want to look me up really quick, they can do it that way. So we just wanna make sure we fit it right in. So I'm actually gonna move this over a little bit. There we go. Okay. I'm trying to make sure it's down the middle here. All right, so now I'm also going to add that it's made in Queen Creek, Arizona. I like to put where my candles are made. So we're gonna add that here and make it the same font. I like to have everything the same font. It's up to you, you can change it up. I have seen you know people use two to three different fonts. It's really your call. Now one other tip I'll give you if you notice, I'm trying to move this around and there's only so many lines it lets you move. So me personally, I don't want it down this far. I want it a little bit up higher, but I can't do it with the mouse. So if you click this and then on your keyboard, if you use your arrows, you can move it up a little bit. And sometimes I have to do that just to make get it where I want it. Okay. 
So now the last thing I'm going to add is to remove this paper before anyone lights it. So you would think that that's, you know, people would know to do that and I'm sure that everyone does. Um, but I just like to cover my own. Um, so I just wanna make sure that I'm putting on my candles to remove it. That way there is no confusion at all. So I'm just trying to make this smaller, but not too small to where you can't read it. All right, so there we go. So we have the business name. Uh, we have a little feather. We have the scent name, what it is. We have the website to where it's made and to remove it before lighting it and our little tab. So now once you have everything ready to go, you're gonna hit download. You wanna make it two times the size. It just helps with the pixels. Make sure it's PNG, and then you want to do transparent background and download. And then once you have it downloaded, open Cricut Design Space. All right, once you have Cricut Design Space open, this is what it's going to look like. Um, so you're going to hit new project. And then this, you can actually build your dust cover in here as well if you don't want to use Canva and you just want to use one software, that's totally fine. Um, you would just find the shapes here. You would do the same thing. You would get your circles and then you would, you know, you can get your images here. They have a lot of cool images that you can put on your dust cover. Um, you can get your text here. Okay, and if you do this, for example, let's just say candle, in order to change the font, it's gonna be at the top, just like on Canva. So you're, you can do either all, what's in the system, meaning free, or if you have a Cricut membership, then you can do that as well. So for now, we're going to add, we're gonna upload what we just did. So. You can either, this is recent uploads, these are some of the ones I've already done, but you can, the ones that we just did, you can hit upload image and then hit browse and it'll pull from your computer file. So once you have that pulled up, you hit add to canvas and this is what you will get. So we wanna make it smaller, so we don't want it that big. Now my cylinder candle that I'm putting this into is a three inch diameter candle. So I don't want my dust cover exactly three inches because then there's not enough wiggle room in there um, and then it will be really hard to have it look nice and have everything in the right spot. So I always do just a little bit less um, I try not to go too much under, maybe, you know, about 25% less. Uh, so like, for example, mine's three inches. So I'm gonna do 2.75 or 2.8, something like that. So once you have it all measured, you are going to copy, paste, and then copy, here. So my papers fit four you if, if you have a bigger cardstock you can fit more but mine fit four so this is what you're going to see and then you're going to want to highlight all of these and we want to go down here to the bottom and hit flatten what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that you can print this first and then it's going to just cut out these parts. It's not gonna cut out the words because we don't want the Cricut going through and cutting out our text. So then you're gonna hit make it. This is what you're going to see. This is how it's gonna look. And then you're gonna hit continue. See we have print then cut. That's selected. You definitely wanna make sure that that is selected. Okay, so for here, you're gonna print first, so you're gonna hit send to printer, and then select your printer, and then hit print. So this is the printer that I use. It's a Brother Inkjet. 
I absolutely love it. It prints really well and it's really fast. The ink on it is not too expensive. It's pretty affordable and it's really high quality as well. All right, once that is printed, then you're going to want to con connect your Cricut, whatever Cricut you have. So you're going to want to go ahead and power that on. Your Cricut is connected to the Bluetooth. This is what you're going to see. So you're going to want to set your material. So it already has these options for you. If you do not find the option, just hit browse all materials and scroll down and find your option. We're using cardstock and I'm using light cardstock and this will show you the pounds too to help know which one you have. And then you hit done. And then you can change the pressure if you want. I always use default. Um, I haven't had an issue with the default. Make sure you have your blade and clamp B and then go ahead and push the arrow to load the mat. All right, so this is a light grip mat. Um, now keep in mind that my camera is flipped, so this is actually going to be on the top left corner when you're putting it in, not the top right. Now when you're putting it on the mat, make sure that you line up the edges to make sure that it is correct and the cutting is not going to cut over the text. Then you're going to feed the paper in when it signals you to. It'll sig signal you on the computer and on your Cricut, and then it'll ask you to push the play button when it is ready. All right, so we're gonna pull up the paper. I usually press down. Just make sure everything's going to stick. Sometimes you do have to assist the paper and kind of press down on the dust covers while you pull back. Now, sometimes it will be hard to get these off, so I do have a tool for that. I am gonna show you a few different tools. It is a toolkit that I got for Cricut. Um, I'll have the link in the description box below, but it comes with four really basic tools that are really helpful, and I use all of them all the time. So this first one is going to help press down. Um, I use it a lot with the vinyl. These are some scissors um, that are just really helpful with cutting vinyl or really anything with the Cricut. This one we're gonna use with the dust covers. I can call it like a little spatula, um, but you can. It'll help you pull up the dust covers so that way you're not pulling up and rolling them because you want them to stay as flat as possible. And then the fourth tool, I just call it this little poker. Um, it helps thread and pull out vinyl. But just make sure you can pull these off. Sometimes they come off easy, sometimes it's a little harder and use a tool if needed. And then when you're done, you can just fold over the tab and then that way the tabs are ready to be used. All right, so these are how they turned out. I love how they turned out and you can make a bunch of different scents, um, you know, different wick types if you have cotton or wood wick. Um, you could do different colored paper if you wanted to do different paper, but I think they turned out really well. All right, so that was my video on how to make dust covers for your candles. Again, I would highly recommend them for markets and at stores. You can even put them on your online candles that you sell online and ship to your customers. I really think that they add just an extra feature to the candles and it's really nice to keep the top of them protected. Now, if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That way I know that you all like this kind of content and want to see more. Again, as always, if you feel like I forgot something or you have any questions, please post them in the comment box below and I will definitely get back to all of you. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.